I try and read to them at least three times a day. I'm sure I've been told five, but I probably manage about three picture books a day because I just want them to be excited about books. All of us here teach our reading with intensity, I think there's just a sense of urgency about the way we approach reading and real passion and drive to move on fast with their reading and do it well and it's a class culture. I am relentless. We read and write every day for those particularly emergent readers and writers. So every day they are reading and it's in every part of the day. Holiday. Holiday. Perfect, you've got it. Are you ready to read? There is an urgency here. We want all our students to achieve at their highest possible level because we believe if they're doing that they've got greater choice and greater opportunities, it's easier for them to access the curricula. So we share with students where they are and where they need to go, we show them the long picture and as teachers we meet together regularly and constantly problem solve. We look at all the children's achievement in our syndicate every few weeks We've got eight classes, so that's a lot of children, but we go through and we look at every child that we feel is below or is lacking in confidence or we have some concern about, and we all problem solve about the best ways to support them. They push themselves. Since I put my little reading flower up the wall with the different colours, they all know where they are and they think, I'm on green and I want to be on orange and I'm on blue and I really want to be on green. And I hear them talking about that with each other as well. So there's a little sense of urgency amongst them. We gather data on all students constantly and because we gather all this data it's easy to look across to see where interventions are effective if they're not we look for something else to do because that hasn't worked for that child or those children. We know children can learn if a child's not learning we have to look at our practice so we do a lot of problem sharing. We constantly are engaged in professional development. Now that might only be a small thing like watching a clip or reading a research paper at our team meetings which we have once a week but always always it's bubbling at the top of our consciousness we always continue to revisit and readdress when i first came in as a beginning teacher my expectations of what year ones could achieve in their reading or what could be expected of them i don't think it was high enough my own expectations have been raised and that's just infectious in a classroom we start saying oh that's amazing and let's push on. As we work together they build that teacher knowledge so they've actually got the tools in their own toolkit to challenge the students. So while the students are getting challenged the teachers also have been open to challenge and questioning their own practice and sharing their practice and that's enabled us to keep moving the kids on because we're keeping on moving on. We have a lot of inter-class visits between teachers and if a teacher has a particular need then they'll be released to go and watch someone who's able to do that more efficiently or has a different way of doing it. I mean when you're coming with your data week after week and bringing your writing books and bringing your running records and analysing those things to look for patterns and when you're sharing what you're doing it actually breaks down those walls between classrooms.